Hi, it's Nick Jervis from the More Clients Academy. And in this training, I want to show you how to, um, once you've chosen your keywords, how to use the Yoast SEO plugin um, to ensure that you target the keyword properly on every page. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do that on my site and uh, I'll show you how to use the plugin. So the first thing is, um, let's have a look at a page and we'll choose this page. Once you're logged into WordPress, I always like to simply press the control key and edit page so you have the live page open but you can then get to the back end and holding control key keeps the live page open then we come across to um, the main page digital marketing coach I reckon it's going to be the key phrase and here it is digital marketing coach we have the title tag and the description tag which both have to feature the keyword digital marketing coach um, and then the good thing about Yoast, it shows you what that's going to look like in the results. And you'll notice I use leading capitals. And the reason is because it just stands out that much better. Um, if you use lowercase, um, so you don't have capital L, F, A, um, then it just, in the results, um, it doesn't look as good. I'll show you what I mean. If we go and do a search for dig digital marketing coach, um, then the second entry is me. Um, there's my title tag, description tags. Now, interestingly on this one, Google's not taken my description tag. It doesn't have to, but you want to give yourself the best chance. I would like it to, but it hasn't. But it's put my details in. It's put digital marketing, coaching and mentoring, but it hasn't taken my word for word there, um, as is Google's want. Uh, but the key thing is that doesn't mean you cannot put in a description tag because Google is still using that to work out what your page is about. So you have to use it and you have to put the keyword in there. Once you've written your, what I like to call sales copy to get people through, I notice the change there, um, to get through to the page, because once they see those results, this is what makes them decide whether they're going to click through. Um, so Digital Master Coach, UK Consultant, they click through, land on that page. Um, so you want to make sure that sales copy is good. And then Yoast helpfully gives you a green face that says, I'm doing okay. Um, key phrase, uh, outbound links, image key phrase, images. I've got all these title tags, description tags in place, which I'll show you on the, the SEO checklist. Um, it says it's not in the introduction. So let me have a look at that. Um, that looks to be like it, the introduction to me. Um, maybe it means here to do. So let's just quickly have a play. Uh, let's update that, see if that makes a difference to my smiley face from Yoast. Come back down the bottom, see if that's ticked that green box now. Uh, yes, it's now removed. Distribution, um, have you even distributed? Not telling me, key phrase in subheading. Is it in the subheading? Um, well, it is in there, Digital Marketing Coach. Is it saying that it's not in other subheadings on the page? So um, if you're looking at this thinking, this looks nice and easy to edit. Um, this is because I don't use Divi Builder Elemental, which slow the page down. A good site, a good clean site should look like this. It's just a Word document you can edit. It puts less junk on the page. The design all comes from the design files as it should do. Um, so if you're looking for a site like that, let me know. Um, because that's how it should be. It should be this easy. You look at the whole page and you can edit the whole content on there. Um, so I was just looking to see if we're using, so I've got digital marketing coaching as a subheading, um, but not the word coach, which is where I think it's it's a bit disappointed. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that, but basically that's how you use the Yoast plugin. You, you put your keyword, which you've chosen using the training I'll show you in here, in your, and then it says, right, you've got to put it in here. You've got to put it in here. Um, and you've got to put it in the content in all these places. And if you do that, you've done well. Um, and you'll see it, it talks about outbound links and internal links. Um, internal links are vital um, for SEO purposes. And uh, you can see on the page training, which shows you how to put pages on this, links on this page. But Link Whisper also will let you add inbound links to this page to give it a boost in the Google rankings. So look at the LinkedIn training, uh, the Link Whisper training below. I'll show you how to do that. It's another vital part of the content marketing and SEO process. Nick Jervis from the More Clients Academy.